All right, guys, good afternoon. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning Dynamite Service with explosive results. <clears throat> so we clean this up with a little degreaser. Uh, we used a little simple green. We also used a little Zep Purple Industrial greaser, Degreaser. Um, we then cleaned that up. We got a 30% vinegar out and um, we treated that to sort of eat off the top layer. Uh, and then we treated with a little Eflo. Um, it's important to have proper ventilation when doing this, uh, but you can see the results. It is outstanding compared to what it was. It was horrible. Um, there's gonna be some sanding work that has to be done in order to get some of these uh, residual stains. I've tried a little acetone. Uh, I also tried a little xylene. Uh, just to try to thin out the material and see if it could um, it break down and it's going to have to be um, uh, it's going to have to be uh, sanded. So um, so I'll turn you around and let you see. You can just see you know all the flow is removed off here. You can see how beautiful uh, this came out. Um, you know the inside looks really good. We still have to wipe that down. This whole wall this just looks brand new. Uh, in fact, I want to get a nice little. Nice little photograph of that because uh, it looks so good. Um, and we also did, oh, running into some wires, we also did this uh, stone here. Uh, uh, very much the same process, um, you know, and you can just see how gorgeous that looks. So uh, just wanted to show you, you know, what that looks like, a little fi in interior fire, uh, you know, stone wall cleaning. Um, and I just kind of wanted to bring to your attention um, now, of course, you didn't see my process. You didn't see the wiping, the scrubbing. You didn't see the application, so on and so forth. Um, and I'm sorry for that, but uh, just wanted to let you know how you can clean up brick safely and effectively uh, without doing any you know, damage um, uh, to the property. And I'll show you what these look like. You can see how they had a mount here. Um, and these, this, these lines need to be uh, scratched off. But the mortar cleaned up really, really nicely. The bricks cleaned up really nicely. You can see what those look like. They look really good as they should be. Um, and, uh, and the whole fireplace looks outstanding. So I uh, just wanted to give you uh, a little heads up on that. And uh, we're gonna go off with uh, that little pump up sprayer. And we're running about, a, about an eight to one mix on that F-Flow in there. Um, so just a little bit of F-Flow and a little bit of water and uh, off you go. You don't need the F-Flow straight. That's just a waste of money and a waste of product. Um, you know, you just want to be able to burn in and, and, and remove that, uh, that top layer there. So, um, so I hope everyone's having a great day. Keep cleaning out there. And this is fireplace cleaning and it came out fantastic. Really proud of that work. It's still in the process of drying, but uh, this is obviously nice and dry up here. You can see, nice and dry. Uh, this is also dry over here. Very dry. And you can just see what that sort of that end result looks like. So uh, we did really good. Um, and that's not my thing. I don't come inside people's houses, but this house obviously is being, you know, redone. And so I said, well, sure, I'll give it a shot. She asked if I could do it and why not give it a shot. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. If you do kind of know what you're doing, do it. I have a brick fireplace at home. I know how I clean it. And, um, and I have children, I have pets. And so I'm conscientious of all that. There's none of that here. So uh, anyway, have a great day. Keep cleaning. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my videos and off to the garage now.